So I wanted to share with you today a really useful accessibility plugin that you can use to audit your sites or other people's sites uh, for potential accessibility problems. So it's available for Chrome, Firefox, and I believe Edge as well. And it's called Axe uh, or Axe DevTools. Uh, so if you go to your relevant uh, store, whether it's Chrome Web Store or Firefox Store, and actually install the extension, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of how it works and what it actually does. So once you've got the plugin installed, uh, if you just go over to any particular website, I'm on the Docker website, uh, just because there's a few interesting uh, accessibility problems here. Uh, and if you just open up your DevTools, once you've got the uh, plugin installed, and go over to Axe DevTools here. Uh, and there is a premium version of this as well, but you can use it for free uh, to identify most accessibility problems. Uh, once you've opened up the tab, if you just click Scan All My Pages, and you'll see uh, you get uh, the, a list of all the issues, uh, accessibility problems on your particular site. So uh, to actually use the tool here, uh, you can see all of the issues listed down here on the left-hand side. Uh, and the first instance, um, it's actually not one caused by the Docker site, it's actually something to do with uh, the uh, recapture uh, plugin that's been included on the site. But you can see here, there's an area hidden element and it's also got a focusable element on it. So uh, you can see a description of the issue here. Uh, and then there's some details on the right hand side about where the issue is located and also how to fix it as well. So uh, this one's a bit of a weird one, but I'll just show you some of the tools that you can use. So uh, you can actually select the element with the, uh, the selector that they're provided here, but you can also just click the inspect element here and it'll jump in the uh, elements tab of Chrome here uh, to the specific element that's causing the problem. So what you would do is you would find the element in your source code uh, and then with the potential fix that they give you, so for example, it's here it's saying to remove the tab index or set the tab index to minus one so that it's not focusable uh, and that would actually solve that accessibility problem for you. So let's take a look at something that's a bit more tangible. So we've got uh, here that the elements must have sufficient color contrast. So that basically means that the background color uh, must be able to contrast with the foreground color or the text color uh, so that it doesn't cause any problems for people with visual impairments. So uh, for example, here we've got a heading level six tag uh, with the text of uh, what's new. So we can find that in the uh, DOM again by just uh, clicking this inspect button uh, and it shows you here. And if we just uh, scroll into view down here, it's uh, this text here, this element here. And we go down here, we can see that it actually acts, actually gives us the information about the color contrast as well. So we've got here a color contrast ratio of 3.5, but uh, for accessibility reasons, it should be 4.5 or, or at least that. So the solution to that would to be probably to make that blue color a lot darker uh, so that it contrasts with the white background. Uh, and you can see here there's actually 66 uh, of these uh, color contrast issues here. So we could actually just loop through all of these. Uh, and again, we can find all those elements find out what the contrast ratio should be uh, and make the change in our code so that it's not a problem anymore. And another one that we've got down here is that ID attribute values must be unique. Uh, so it looks like there's lots of uh, SVGs on the page and you can see down here that the ID is called fill one and there's some uh, other elements that have got the same ID uh, so they must be unique on the page. And if we scroll through a few more, you can see we've got uh, some, uh, again, SVG elements uh, that have got IDs which aren't unique. So you'd need to go back into the code and make sure all of the elements on the page have actually got unique IDs. Uh, so that's something else we could solve quite easily. And also we've got images must have alternate text. So that's a, a classic. So there's been some images included on the page that don't have alt text. That'd just be a case of going in and uh, adding the alt attribute, so with some descriptive information. And um, finally down here, we've got links have discernible text. Uh, so it seems here, uh, we've got an element, uh, a link uh, tag, which basically has an SVG inside it, but there's actually no text inside it. So that's a big accessibility problem. There should be some uh, included text as well to explain uh, what the link is and where it's going. So that's pretty much what you would use Axe DevTools for. It's free to install, but as I say, there is a premium plan for uh, more of the advanced features. Uh, but go ahead and install it and check out some of the apps that you've worked on or just open up some uh, random website and take a look at their accessibility issues. And it'll just bring into focus accessibility problems and make you think when you're actually coding up some markup uh, how you should actually be uh, structuring it. And hopefully that will lead to you writing better markup that has better accessibility. 
Uh, so that's it for Axe DevTools. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.